we're basically going to try to change the color of this fire. Whoa! Whoa. 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 Oh, so they take a while. Well, that was strontium chloride and it turned to red, as you can see. We have water and calcium carbide chips, and they're going to react to make an acylatine gas, which is highly flammable. Okay, so the reaction takes place inside the pumpkin, and it uses calcium carbide to generate a small amount of acetylene gas. Um, and when the gas is ignited, a tremendous amount of energy is released, pushing the pieces of the pumpkin out. So it's been about a minute. And this is kind of difficult because we have to get this stick into this tiny little hole in the back of the pumpkin to light it. And hopefully... Oh, And then you can turn on the fumes behind you. So you turn the yellow first. And then it's going to turn all gross and bubbly and stuff. It's exciting. The suspense is building. I know! Yeah. <laughs> So why does it bubble? Because gas is being produced and it has to escape. <laughs> why is it turning black? Because it's being dehydrated. It's growing. Can we like clean clean? <laughs> Successful. Wow. Experiment. It's awesome. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. mercy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so and that's the molten iron that just fell out yeah, of the cup. Yeah, the clay pot, it cracks because of the heat and the molten iron falls into the pot below it. The relevance to this force is it's a double displacement. And it's also exothermic because it will create heat and you'll see sparks. And it, it, if everything goes well, there will be sparks and s smoke and s uh, heat, obviously. Whoa. Oh, oh yes. yes. That was so neat. That was cool.